lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, so it's half ten in the morning and I'm uploading the last week vlog. Did it again, didn't I? I forgot to get it all sorted last night, which means I'm having to do it this morning, which means it's putting me back. <sighs> So whilst that uploads and does its thing, I'm going to go and deliver a letter, or a form, if you like. You may remember I got these green forms from the football meeting a few weeks ago. This is to say that we're going to be playing in the league next year. I've got two forms, um, and it's costing us, just to give you an idea of the prices, league affiliation fee, £17, league cup fee, £15, £20 for one-off, a lot of registrations. That comes to £52. Times two teams, that's £104, just to be part of the competitions. If we want to go into the Essex Cup, that's another fee on top of that. Then you've got to pay for your ground fees as well, referee fees on top of that, so... It adds up. But yeah, I'm going to go and deliver that now because it was due today. And if I don't do it today, then we're not in the league for next year and I've screwed up. And if then we want to be in the league, we've got to pay a big fine. Great. So let's go and get this out of the way. That weather, I tell you, it's bad. And now that we're back, 84% processed on the old uh, the last week vlog. Today's task is simple, get the A-team's game done. In terms of commentary, I've just done the uh, intro last week, so I just need to do first and second half. Hopefully that'll be done early enough because Tottenham are playing Watford at Wembley tonight. Um, again, you know, the whole Wembley thing, it's just, I can't wait to be back in Tottenham because it's just so much easier to get to. Wembley is a nightmare, I say it all the time, and it hasn't felt special. It's kind of taken the um, the shine off of Wembley, the, the, the whole get into Wembley. It's just not, it's just not really something that excites me anymore but nevertheless i paid for a season ticket and if i don't go it's a waste of money so um as long as i get the sunday league football game ready by about five ish i'll be out of go so let me crack on with some work blank screen rain continues to pour lovely stuff and it's 20 to 3 and uh the computer as i said last week just decides in the afternoon to to, to mess up hopefully i can save the pennies and get a new computer in the summer but uh for now we have to we crack on with this uh like i say we're halfway through hopefully we can get this done by five and i can get ready and go to wembley tonight if not we ain't going uh-uh no way all right thumbnail done video uploading and the last week vlog has just gone up but i'll read those comments maybe on the way to football i'll reply as well but I'll obviously be sure to, to feature them probably tomorrow now. I've got an old Spurs shirt laying on the floor over there. I just took a picture and sent it into the group. I've got an Italian one here as well from the old World Cup 94. Uh, had a uh, Maldini on the back. This was when, from when my uh, sister actually worked in the Nike shop or Nike shop. She managed to get that and I stole it off her. Wore it every day. Anyway, the reason they're there, I took a photo and put them into the group. Basically, uh, Liam from Palmer's FC has a stag do in June and uh, we're all going to Butlins in Bognor Regis. And it's a 90s theme and we need to think of things to wear. I suggested Sister Act. I think we should go as nuns. I think that'd be hilarious, but um, they're saying it's gonna be too hot. So uh, maybe get some shirts out. Jack suggested maybe go down the football route and uh, obviously I dug out some old football shirts and there you go. There's a really old yellow one from the Kappa era. These are like really, really stretchy material. This one reminds me of Gareth Bell. I think I have my name printed on the back of this one as well. Smith. There's only one Smith. Well, there's probably more, to be honest. <laughs> Here's another absolute beauty. The brown one. The poo shirt, as everyone called it. I remember going to Portsmouth, into the Puma shop, and buying a load of these because I thought that they were rare. Uh, I couldn't shift them in the end, uh, but I tried selling loads on eBay. Didn't work out. The Adidas shirts were always good for Spurs. I actually rarely wore uh, or had a, a home shirt. I always went for the away ones, so it was either purple or the, uh, the yellow numbers. And there's another one from the Kappa era. I actually really like this shirt. It reminds me of Freddie Canute. And someone's probably gonna correct me now and say he didn't even play in that shirt, but I'm sure he did. Anywho, old shirt reminiscing over. Who knows what we will go to as the stag do, but leave your suggestions in the comments below. It's gotta be 90s themed. Anyway, time for a shower, and then I'm gonna get going to Tottenham. Ash said he's uh, not leaving till six, so I'll meet him up there and maybe get a lift back. So last time I picked up the camera, I said I was gonna get the train and meet Ash up here, but then he messaged me straight after and said that he'll pick me up. He's got out earlier than he thought. Turns out he didn't though, because he got here a bit later. So we may miss a bit of the first half, but I'm well hungry. Ash is well hungry. Welcome back to the vlog, Ash. Hey vloggers. Hey vloggers. On the road. Sum up what's been going on in the life of Ash. Work, stress, holiday to Dubai. Just pulled up to a Londis. 24 hours I have, you know. I went in. Egg and crest sandwich. Original flapjack. Cheap crisps. Wasn't enough cheap crisps in there, but I've got this one. Always trust. Mini cheddars. And we've arrived. Now we was expecting to be late. But it's been a clear run. Which would suggest, and this game being Monday Night Football, probably on Sky, that there's not many people here. All parked up. Ready to roll. It's, it's really eerie here, like really quiet. Oh look, I see some other people now. We're not the only ones coming to this game, Ash. Literally, no queue. Come on! Come on, Tottenham! 
too sorry for this guy. I'm being fat. Ash is sitting next to me, he's being fat. Everyone is being fat. Look at them all. <sighs> Where's Ash's car? We can't. <laughs> we can't find your car. We genuinely can't find Ash's car. What's your car's name? R three one yes. R three one yes. R three one yes. R three one yes. No, we didn't come this far. But we definitely didn't come this far down. I'm actually getting a little bit worried now. Where's Ash's car? What's it doing there? We didn't leave it there. It's... No, we didn't leave it there. We didn't leave it here. Someone's moved it. Someone has moved your car, Ash. Ooh. Right, found Ash's car. That's good. So, uh, we won. 2 0. Yep, yep. Probably one of the most boring games I've seen this season. Would you agree? Yeah. Good news is it's only an hour drive home. We're in no traffic once again. Um, I think that was my. Uh, no, I've got one more game left. Um, that'll be Leicester on the last day of the season. But I don't know if I'm going to be going in my normal seat um, because I know Kit Locker have invited me into the Nike box for the last day. And I know normally, normally you'd rather be out in the crowd, but um, I went to the night box before and it was pretty cool. So it'd be good to sort of witness it on match day. Um, obviously hook up with the guys at Kitlock, I don't get to see them much, so that'd be nice. And hopefully, Ollie, if you're watching, cause I've heard from someone else that you're getting me the seats. Um, maybe, maybe my good friend Ash here can come in the box with us. That's appreciated. That'd be much appreciated, but um, no pressure, Ollie, no pressure. Um, I've got a severely red face because of the car in front braking. And uh, yeah, that's it for what day are we? Monday. Monday. It's only Monday. Why do I feel like it's like Wednesday? Strange. Good morning and welcome to the 1st of May 2018. Well, I've just realised we hit 48,000 subscribers yesterday. I know people do it all the time, but let's get to 50 as soon as we possibly can. In fact, let's get to 50 in the next two weeks so by the end of this week i'd love for us to club together and get 49 and the week after let's get 50. in fact let's try and get a thousand a week let's try and let's yeah so yeah 48,000 subscribers massive thank you for supporting this channel i'm seeing the same names coming back commenting saying how much they love the vlogs so uh again massive thank you and uh, talking to comments let's let's have a look at a few so on the way back from spurs last night i replied to a lot of people um daniel rose safe one he was actually first well done to you my man smith it's my birthday on wednesday can i get a shout out in your next vlog please there you go andy there was a lot of people that were suggesting netflix series so thank you to you guys there were so many suggestions so thank you to everyone that left them um, but i think the most popular two were money heist and designated survivor so i'll sit down with Shah sometime and we'll uh, we'll try and get into them luke says he loves these videos because it makes his monday so much better i mean who likes monday Days. If I can make them better, then so be it. The heroic sloth is on the toilet. Gotta love the toilet gang. This is Ryan Walton. He was just letting me know about the uh, the ankle supports that I tried last week. I'll continue with them because he says that uh, obviously you need to wear them in a bit. So that is good advice. Thank you, Ryan. Good question from Chris Kane. He says, why does it take long to do the commentary for the games when it's just a 10 minute video? I'm sure I've mentioned it before, but when I edit down those 10 minutes, 15 minutes of the game, I don't just hit record on the audio on the mic and then just talk all the way through. I wish I could, but I can't. So what I tend to do is I'll take each individual clip within the video and I'll stop start. So I'll dedicate commentary to that clip one bit at a time. I know it essentially takes away the magic and for those people that say, oh Smith, you're so good, you should do live commentary. And it's not. Not for me, not for me. Six aside making a return, says Sam. I do plan on bringing it back, but we've just got to find a league that's reliable, you know, a good league, because um, a lot of the leagues around here, unfortunately, they're not the most reliable, and you'll turn up and play an opponent, but your opponents won't even turn up, so you're left to just kick a ball around for 20 minutes. I might, I might get us back into the one from before. That was probably the best one, but um, we'll see, we'll see. Right, let's do some work, and let's... <laughs> Keep saying I'm going to tidy it up, but I don't. The game went out yesterday, so that was all done. Today's task is to do the A-Team edit and edit this vlog that you're watching right now. Tomorrow, A-Team commentary, and then we're done. Done, and I mean done. I've got a meeting on Friday, um, so Thursday is essentially free. Just imported Sunday's game, so I'm going to get cracking with that today. But first, breakfast. I also want to do the gym today, so I don't know if I'm going to do breakfast, gym, lunch, then edit. No, breakfast, tidy, gym, 
lunch edit. So through starting to tidy this up, I've actually found my Nike running trainers. Yes! I genuinely thought I'd lost them because last time I saw them was at football and uh, they kind of went missing. I'm glad I found them because it means I don't have to spend money on getting some new ones. Hooray for running trainers. And now we are a little bit tired here. Oh, we've got to post these. Sorry, Callum. Time to try and wear these in. Just so you know, these are a little bit dirty because Tommy Tom Tom wore them on Sunday for his ankle. Um, and it held up well. That was good. I did. Uh, I spent a lot of time on the cross trainer, in fact. I just did under five and a half K on that in half hour. Sprints and sort of getting your heart rate up and down. What do I need to do now? Well, I need to get some diesel in the car and find something to eat. It's quite late now, so I think all the chicken fries will be gone unless they've done another batch, but let's go Tesco. Got him. Next stop, that place. Done. Welcome to Wednesday the 2nd of May. Uh, Tuesday ended quickly, didn't it? My apologies, just got home, ate my chicken, edited, went to bed. Simples. It's a very great day, and the A-Teams game is edited down. Hence the tick from yesterday, I just need to do the commentary, but I've got kind of two days to do that, so what I'm going to do is go to the gym first of all, then come back, get some lunch, and then crack on with the afternoon and edit. <laughs> Woo! That was a tough one today, you enjoyed it though. So that's two in a row. See if we can make it three in a row tomorrow. Time for some lunch. Okay, so no fires, so a whole chicken is gonna have to cut it up. Not having salad today, I'm just gonna go all out and just have broccoli. So broccoli and chicken, that's pretty healthy. I've also just rekindled something that I completely forgot about in life, anchovies. I don't know if anyone's ever tried these before, I'm sure you have. I really like them and I've forgotten about them. It's almost as if my mind just slipped. I was just walking past and I saw like uh, the fresh section where there was like olives and bits and pieces but anchovies were there so I just filled up a pot. I was used to associate these with uh, American shows because people used to get anchovies on their pizza and other people used to go oh it's disgusting man but um yeah now I filled up a pot of these and they're actually really healthy really oily fish good for you um so I'm going to be getting on these as well now. And there we go half a chicken broccoli bit of uh, balsamic vinegar on there and all. Time for some Netflix and I'm going to give one of your uh, recommendations a go. Designated Survivor. Right, Designated Survivor, episode one is done. I'm in, but I would like to get Sha to sort of watch it on her own tonight, maybe, or another day. See if she's in, and then it might be something that we can watch. Money Heist is another one that I need to give a go as well, so uh, hopefully out of one of the two, we can we can like one of them, and uh, we can spend some quality time in the evenings together. Let's see if we can bond over a series again, because we loved, uh, we loved uh, Stranger Things, and we're looking forward to season three as well. Anyway, time to go to work. Before we do, though, an Amazon delivery arrived. Screen cleaner for my Mac, need that. And this is a mini screwdriver set, so hopefully I can fix my Canon G7X Mark II. All right, it took me a while, but I did eventually find the... Uh, the right head for this. Now originally both of these went missing, so the, the, the screen completely came off. Uh, as you can see, I've just screwed in them now. Um, I couldn't find the spare screws. I mean, I lost one, so I have one spare. So what I've actually done is taken a screw at the middle point, which is uh, which is great. They've got these two to either side, so that should be keeping it. And, and you've got these random screws at the back. Uh, I took that one out of there as well. So now we have the Mark II back. Good times. And now we spot over Mark II. Um, originally, I did say there's not much difference between the Mark I and this one, but I have found by using this one and going back to that one, um, over time, there is a lot of issues with sort of focusing. Um, it does tend to go out of focus a lot, but this one seems a little bit better. So, uh, good to have you back, Mr. Mark II. How you doing? Anyway, it's time to make a start on the commentary of this game, um, and I'll probably finish the rest tomorrow. <laughs> something out. This is the first time in the vlogs, or in general, that you've actually recorded myself driving. I think it was yesterday or the day before I bought something from eBay, it's like a, a, a cleanse spray. And I don't know why it popped up as a suggestion, but it said anti-slip mat. Now these anti-slip mats in the car, generally you put your kit, well not keys because they'll be in the ignition, but uh, yeah, your wallet and other bits and pieces and it, it stops them from sort of sliding off. So I thought I'd have a genius idea of whacking the camera on there. And at the moment, I mean, it does seem to be wobbling a little bit. I mean, this is just a test. We'll see how it comes out. So, uh, good morning. Uh, it's Thursday, the 3rd of May, and I am off to get my hair cut. Um, I didn't get a haircut last week, so it's a little bit longer than normal. I believe that it's going to be a lot shorter today on top. She's going to cut it back a lot, lot more, so expect me to look a little bit different. Other bits to do today are finish the commentary on the A-Teams game, and hopefully I can squeeze in the gym at some point. 
that'd be nice. Right, I'm parked up to get my hair cut now, but this is the uh, the the thing. It just literally just sticks on there, and you you, you work anything on there. Wallet, phone. It's pretty good, and it's nothing new to be honest, guys. It's just uh, it's just new in my life. And all for the grand total of five pound fifty. Let's get a haircut. Oh, a pal. And I say every time we're losing it, we are losing it, people. I may like start sort of combing it over a little bit, just showing more and more. Anyway, let's whack you there. We'll have a little chat. So this woman's just parked right in the arse, so it's going to be hard to get out. So this could take a couple of manoeuvres, people. In, out, in, out. Shake it. All about. That beeping sound means I haven't put my uh, seatbelt on, so I better do that. Safety first. Are you ready for this, boys? It's day today, Thursday. Bus on a Thursday. Can you see it? In all its glory. A bus on a Thursday. <laughs> And we are back. Time to edit. Right, I'm up to the 63rd minute in this game. And Sharon's home. Welcome home, wife. Thank you, husband. What's for dinner? Dinner? What do you fancy? Well, I personally think that we should have this salmon. A oh, wapow. Salmon with onions, a bit of broccoli on the side. So I haven't imported the footage from this morning yet, so I don't know if this works. But if it is, then great, and we're just having a chat. So I'm off to the football meeting, you know, the the one that I have to go to once a month is the first Thursday of every single month. If you don't go, you get fined, and if you keep not going, you get suspended and lose points and whatnot. And there you go, <laughs> meeting done. Nothing to report. Unfortunately, I didn't finish the video earlier, so I've got about 20 odd clips to commentate on. But I'm going to London tomorrow, and I haven't been to the gym today, so I want to be going to the gym in the morning do a little bit of cardio and then I guess I'll just have to do the video on Monday finish it off there's not a lot so I should be able to get that done quite quickly and then edit this Sunday's game which is against Thames Gateway if they beat us we'll do the treble which is an amazing achievement we're getting old now tired legs and they're just coming into their peak they're always the youngsters and they still are youngsters to us um, but they're in their peak so um, yeah they've done really well this year cup double and uh, they're going to do the league but whether they win it off the back of beating us who knows we're the only team to beat them this year though i'm home and the room is still tidy just meanwhile sharani is eating watermelon and doing some work how is work it's very um busy to this week cool story bro such a contrast your legs are hairier than mine, aren't they? <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Friday. May the 4th be with you, as they say. I'm not really a Star Wars fan, if I'm being honest. So I'm about to go to the gym. I was meant to go just do a bit of cross trainer or a bike, a bit of cardio. But just as I was about to leave, Mr. JQ, Mr. J Quay, my lunch buddy, uh, got in touch and said, do you want to play squash? He's in a similar situation to me at the moment, really wants to get in shape. Um, he's got a wedding coming up, so he's... he's, he's um, He's doing the gym pretty much every single day at the moment. The only difference is, oh, we're on autopilot at the moment. I need to turn around. Damn it. Now, the only difference is, James goes to a different gym to me. It's cheaper. He says he's brilliant. I've never been before. And he's trying to convince me to leave my gym, which I love to bits. Um, I'm not really a gym person. Over the years, I've been to various different gyms, and I don't really feel comfortable there. But this one, I feel at home. And I, I feel like I can just walk in, do my workout, not worry about all the meatheads in the corner being like, rrr, rrr, rrr. I can just go there and have a have a good time. So I'm going to use this as an opportunity to have a little scout around and see what this one's like, because if I can save money, then great. My gym membership runs out at the end of May, so it'd be a good time to cancel, because if I have renew, I'm locked in for another year. And it is, it's a little bit more expensive than this one, so uh, definitely worth having a little look around. Club Kingswood. What a lovely day for tennis. So here we go, new settings, court four, here we are. Is it automatic? Automa automatic? Automatic. <laughs> Hi, dramatic. <laughs> I have a racket and an opponent and we're ready to play squash. I've never played this before, so what do we do? We st you stand in there and I stand in there? Well, there is some rules on the wall, but I'm not 100%. I'm just going to give it a go. Just hit the ball against the wall, I'll hit it and then you hit it and then I hit it, yeah? Oh, 
trying to work out when we started. I think we started about 25 to 10. It's now 25 past 10, but I'm absolutely done. Sweating. The uh, final score, we played three games. This man here won all three. <laughs> but they were good games. They were good. <laughs> Don't be fooled by the way, yeah. He's on the slim down. Wedding in when? Three months. Three months time. Gotta get into that suit. It's been good, James. <laughs> the situation is that this car's parked right up close and uh, I'm just gonna have to bash his car, unfortunately, mate. Like, oops. Yeah, that was good. If you haven't played squash before, I'd fully recommend it. A lot of fun. Well, that did smash my elbow. That, that really hurts. That's just me moaning. Always moaning. You know when they say not a cloud in the sky? There is genuinely, genuinely not a cloud in the sky. It is lovely. Bus on a Friday. Someone's doing alright for themselves. And here we are, Ball Street. I love this carpet. <laughs> so rather than sitting in a room, we're gonna come to Nando's. Done, done, and I mean done. It's really about the storytelling and stuff like that. Home. And I say it all the time, but London takes all day. It's currently five o'clock. Sharan's on her way home. She's asked me to order something. Uh, I want to be a little bit healthier, and obviously the most healthiest thing that we could possibly order is our Turkish. We get it once a month. It's only four days in and we've already surrendered. So uh, Turkish is on its way, cannot wait. Obviously I didn't really film much in London because well, it's a meeting and I'm not gonna film those bits and pieces, but um, big shout out to Matt, thanks for the advice today. Much appreciated, he's a cool guy, uh, runs Ball Street, runs all of the bits and pieces behind that. Um, and yeah, ultimately I did mention that there'd be some changes with the Palmer's thing, so um, I was just sort of running that by him and seeing what he thought, any advice that he could give. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's all good. So um, that's it. But anyway, time to chill. I say this every time, but it's just so good. The meat is top notch. If you haven't done Turkish yet, do Turkish. I don't know what that is on the TV, but I think we're going to spend the evening on Netflix. Catch you in a bit. What a lovely day. Um, on the road. Yeah, back again. We're going to Barnet today. I decided around midnight last night I bought a ticket uh, unfortunately I wasn't in the south stand which was sold out I don't think I'm near any of the, uh, the where the atmosphere or, or so-called atmosphere is uh, I'm up the other end in the north stand but either way final game of the season must win for Barnet <laughs> the game done at Barnet. Uh, sad times. It's a shame because I went to Colchester last year and they just missed out on um, the playoffs. This time I went to a relegation battle with Barnet and they unfortunately have been relegated. One day I'll go to something great. They won 3-0. It was the better team. Because of that everyone's just checking their phones just to see what the other score is between Coventry and Morecambe and it was 0-0 all the way through. And in that case that was enough to keep Morecambe up so uh, Barnet went down on a goal difference. Right. I'm off out again. Um, I feel like I've been driving all day, but tonight is James Quay's stag do pre thing, pre stag do meet up, icebreaker. Some of the guys I know, some of the guys I don't. It's a good opportunity to meet them, considering um, we are spending five days in Thailand together in June. So uh, yeah, it'd be nice, nice to meet up. So we're going to go and have a tie in Hornchurch. Hornchurch is a place that I've always wanted to live. I do like it around there. They already met at seven. It's now quarter to eight. I'm just going to meet them for the meal and then we're gonna go and watch the boxing you know, afterwards. Um, I would have got there for seven, but unfortunately, um, obviously with Barnet, the traffic, I'm running late, so I'll just meet him there. I arrived in a car park, let's hope I don't have to pan display. I think I found my stag do. Spare ribs, that's a man curry. What pal? That was good. Nice food, um, good to meet the guys. But anyway, yeah, that's Saturday. We're gonna get home, get in bed, get some sleep, and then tomorrow we've got a big game, Sunday League Football. See you tomorrow. Every day, yeah, yeah. Morning and welcome to Sunday, the 6th of May. It's um, currently half past nine in the morning. Am I running late? Maybe a little. 
but that's no different to any other Sunday. So having had a look at the WhatsApp group this morning, I can confirm that people are dropping like flies. It's, uh, it's not good considering we're coming up against the best team in the league. The first time in a long time, I believe we've got two goalkeepers, so we may be able to see Garen, who's been covering for us since uh, Jack's injury, halfway through the season. We should be able to see him out on field because that's where he played for uh, Scruttons when he played for them. One, two, <laughs> is Tom I playing? Okay, three, four, that mate, five, six, seven, you injured? Luke, eight. Shane's got knob rot. He's <laughs> Look at this. Focused. Meanwhile, us. <laughs> Just chilling. There he is. In an orange shirt. Did we do a walk on in an orange shirt for you? We did, so I can put that in the video now. Um, it will change if still end up in gold. We never know, but you're in orange. Um, where are you, where, where, what is your outfield position normally? Centre mid, right back, centre back, up front, left mid. <laughs> I've played everywhere. Probably sub. Yeah. <laughs> Camera's ready to roll. Andrew's here. Give me some faults. Um, chicken. Uh, noodles. Nah. No. Uh, we need to win. There's just no other way about it. You do know what happens if we don't win today. Then it's just a complete loss and we're all going to hide. We'll lose on the bees. Nah, well, or, there's or, that. Yeah, or we're not losing. What Richard said. There's that, uh, or if we don't win, they win a treble today. If we don't beat them. So their treble's on for today. Yeah. And what better club to get it against, you know? So yeah. Yeah. we need to. A few legs now. It's going to happen, it's going to happen. But today we might need to put that on hold. Right back, Rich. Centre mid. No, no. You're beautiful. Home. And uh, I came home to take a Tesco delivery, but it got here before and Sharan's put all of it away, so I feel a little bit guilty. We're all fruited up. Fresh bread, more bread, a load of passata, and some burgers. Now, considering, Sharan, it's one of the hottest days of the year tomorrow, <laughs> are we going to have a barbecue? Yes, Bank holiday. Tomorrow, we're a barbecue. Let's do it. Obviously, we don't own a garden, or a barbecue for that matter. But we're going to go out and get like one of those little disposables. What are we going to do now? We are going to sit down and watch Designated Survivor. Thank you again for the uh, recommendation. Mm. So yeah, I mean, I convinced a few of the boys today to watch it as well. They seemed up for it. Troy's on it. Mm. So um, yeah, thank you again for the recommendation. Let's go and watch Designated Survivor. Previously on Designated Survivor. Here we go, here we go, here we go! It's half ten in the evening. And I believe I last picked the camera up when we were going to start a little marathon. Well, it wasn't a plan on being a marathon, but we, it has been a marathon. Uh, season 1, episode 17 we're up to, so we've got four more episodes of this. It's very good. We're enjoying it. And I don't know where we're going to end it. Are we going to finish the season tonight? Who knows? All I can tell you is Sharan's just brought out the duvet <laughs> to the sofa. I think we're, we're going to... We're going <laughs> to... I think we're in. Season 1 ends tonight. And so does this video. So, uh, again... Massive thank you for your support on the channel. Lots happening next week as well. Doing some work with BT. Going to be playing at QPR's Ground Loftus Road. So exciting stuff. I'll be sure to take you along. But yeah, um, expecting on the road coming up this week as well at some point. What else, yeah? Because I didn't do it last time. 